Experts at the Institute for the Study of War, ISW, have noted that Russian leader Vladimir Putin went to Baku supposedly to showcase diplomatic activity and tried to divert attention from the uncomfortable situation in Russia's Kursk Oblast caused by the Ukrainian offensive. Recall on the 18th of August, Russian leader Vladimir Putin traveled to Azerbaijan seemingly to divert attention from the recent Ukrainian offensive in Kursk Oblast and to reinforce his image as a capable diplomat. Putin, accompanied by Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and a Russian delegation, arrived in Baku for a two-day visit aimed at discussions with Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev. The talks reportedly focused on strengthening Russian-Azerbaijani relations, particularly in the energy sector, promoting Russian language programs in Azerbaijan, and exploring Russia's role in brokering peace between Armenia and Azerbaijan. The timing of this visit is noteworthy given the ongoing situation in Kursk Oblast and the Kremlin's continued efforts to downplay the Ukrainian incursion's magnitude and impact. Russian state media focused on Putin's trip to Azerbaijan, amplifying minute details, likely in part to divert attention from the uncomfortable situation in Russia by saturating the information space with a showcase of the Kremlin's global diplomatic engagement and alleged successes. The ISW said, Vazin Istori, a Russian media outlet, reported that Putin's approach to the Kursk situation has exposed significant shifts within the Kremlin's power hierarchy, many of which have been unfolding in recent months. In a notable move, Putin appointed his aide, Alexei Dumin, to lead the counterterrorism efforts against Ukrainian activities in Kursk Oblast. Vazin Istori noted that this decision suggested that Putin was increasingly wary of the Russian general staff and the Ministry of Defense, organizations typically responsible for such military operations and was instead placing his trust in close associates. An insider reportedly revealed to Vazin Istori that Dumin's appointment had sparked tensions with members of the Russian presidential administration, further indicating that Putin continues to favor personal loyalty over professional expertise in key roles. Vazin Istori's reporting strongly suggests that the Kremlin has increasingly oriented its main priorities towards regime stability. The Kursk operation of the Ukrainian armed forces has once again demonstrated the impotence of the leader of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov, and his henchmen, he is not interested in military assistance to the ruler of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, because he is saving the army for other purposes. This was stated by the People's Deputy of Ukraine, Oleg Dunda, in an interview with 24 Canal. According to him, Kadyrov already understands that the Russian Empire in its current form is doomed. And since he has many enemies, after Putin leaves power, he will have to fight not only for power, but for his own life. Many of his enemies want to present a bill for what he has been doing for 20 years. To do to him what the Libyan people did to Muammar Gaddafi, the MP believes. He stressed that Kadyrov is not at all interested in participating in military actions and losing his army, because he will need it during the collapse of Russia. From the first day of his appointment, Kadyrov is ready to betray Putin, he is constantly preparing for this. He feels that Putin's end will come soon, Dunda emphasized. Recall, recently, Swedish media site Dagens News has an explosive report out that Ukraine's recent invasion of Russia's Kursk Oblast may have been facilitated by treason of the Chechens who were supposedly manning the border posts there and refused to fight against the Ukrainian invasion force. Military bloggers and analysts are abuzz with claims that Kadyrov's troops have betrayed Russia and struck a covert agreement with Ukraine, raising serious questions about the loyalty and actions of these units, according to ZRA. According to military bloggers known for their Z commentary, Kadyrov's Akhmet unit allegedly backstabbed Russian forces by deliberately avoiding confrontation with Ukrainian troops during an offensive in the Kursk region. A former Wagner mercenary, who goes by the name Alex Parker, has shared on his Telegram page that Kadyrov's forces were well informed about the Ukrainian advance and intentionally allowed them to proceed. The deal was reportedly facilitated through an intermediary, Hussein Jambatov, a former Ukrainian soldier who later returned to Chechnya.